on. Um, we are running out of time and this is uh, the moment uh, for uh, making some uh, final uh, remarks. Uh, I feel that today uh, the debate was uh, extremely fruitful throughout the different uh, panelists in the three panels uh, of which the conference uh, was composed. And uh, I enjoyed very much the fact that there was a kind of very spontaneous uh, dialogue between the panelists, not only because uh, uh, the COVID uh, pandemic and the challenges it poses uh, has been uh, a topic uh, central in all three panels, but also because the centrality of uh, human rights, the centrality of uh, rule of law, and the necessity to empower individuals uh, has provided a common ground uh, for uh, debate. And this was uh, uh, extremely interesting and one of the key for the success of this uh, uh, um, conference. Just a very shortly wrapping up, uh, during the first panel, we have been dealing extensively uh, with the concept of good governance. The panelists have tried, have contributed to unpacking uh, this, this concept. And we have seen that uh, central to this concept is of course the respect of the principle of rule of law, uh, which implies not only the respect for the rules, but also the fact that rules have to be applied equally without any form of uh, just discrimination. Moreover, also the neutrality of the judicial system was very much not only in this spot, not only in this panel, but also in uh, the panel on human rights. And we have heard uh, often also about the concept of accountability of decision makers, which is fundamental not only for the rule of law, good governance and human rights, but also for sustainable development. And we have also heard very often that uh, governments can do a lot, can be central to enhancing respect uh, for rule of law governance human rights and also for uh, economic and sustainable uh, development, but civil society are at the same time key actors that we don't have uh, to be passive, but uh, uh, as we have debated today, our rights, uh, including in constitutions, in ordinary legislation, in international treaties are uh, not guarantees. They are rights that can and must be fulfilled. And this form of fulfillment strongly depends also on our uh, individual and proactive uh, attitude. We have heard also very much uh, about uh, uh, gender equality as a challenge uh, which uh, uh, is common to different societies in Eastern Europe, in Western Europe, in the Balkans and also in, in Central Asia. And uh, I think that also a common ground throughout the different panels and also a, a recipe to guarantee good governance, uh, human rights and sustainable development is the right to education. It was mentioned often in all panels and I mean, as a representative of RGSL here, I mean, I cannot uh, uh, avoid stressing how the right to education, the right to human rights, uh, education is crucial because, and it will remain crucial because it's an empowering right. Now, unfortunately, due to time reasons, I have to limit myself to these remarks, but I do not consider the end of this conference, the end of uh, our dialogue. I think that uh, this could be simply a first stone, the basis for sharing again, all together and we, with other speakers, I mean, other possibilities of dialogue and other uh, platforms. And uh, I remain uh, committed to RGSL uh, cooperation again to with the government of Latvia 
and uh, with the Norwegian government, uh, with which we have started a very fruitful and consolidated um, cooperation to set up and establish other possibility for debating, I mean, uh, our ideas. And I really look uh, forward to uh, the possibility to have next year uh, another uh, conference, uh, more or less tailored on uh, the same format. Uh, all this said, I would like to thank all the participants in uh, uh, this uh, conference, uh, all the speakers, uh, the organizers, uh, my colleagues, our alumni and uh, our students, and in the hope that I'm not forgetting uh, anybody, uh, I uh, have the pleasure, uh, I mean, to, uh, I've had the pleasure to share with you uh, this debate, but now, unfortunately, the moment to close the conference has arrived. I hope we will meet very soon again. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Honorable Rector. Thank you uh, to our previously distinguished uh, panel as well. And uh, indeed, the time has come. Um, as our Rector already mentioned, we hope that this isn't the end. We will continue our work and our commitment to uh, working with the regions. And with this, we conclude the conference uh, entitled On Our Way to 2030, Delivering for Prosperous uh, and res resilient societies, which was implemented by Riga Graduate School of Law in cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Latvia and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Norway. Thank you very much for watching. The live stream will be recorded and available for viewing at a later time as well. Thank you. <laughs>